Well, hello, kids. Uh, my name is Adam Bello. I'm the Monroe County Executive. I am so glad to be joining you today to share a story together uh, this month. And I actually have a book with me. It's one of my favorite books. It's called Bear Came Along. And I want to share this story with you. It's by Richard Morris. And it has a really great message that we can talk about after the book. So let's get right into it. It's got some great pictures. So feel free to follow along with me. The book is called Bear Came Along by Richard Morris. Once there was a river that flowed night and day, but it didn't know it was a river until Bear came along. Bear was just being curious when he realized what the river could do. But he didn't know he was on an adventure until Froggy hopped on. Froggy was a lonely frog who was looking for a friend, but she didn't know how many she had until the turtles showed up. The turtles tried to warn them about things that could go wrong, but they didn't know how to enjoy the ride until Beaver climbed aboard. Beaver was born to captain. He knew exactly where to go, but he didn't know about the detours until... The raccoons dropped in. The raccoons were so excited about the twists and turns ahead, but they didn't know they had to be careful until they crashed into a duck. Duck was so content being right where she was, but she didn't know there was a whole world to see until, uh-oh, that looks ominous. Uh-oh, look at their faces. Oh no, they're going over the waterfall. Bear held on to Froggy. Froggy held on to Turtles. Turtles held on to the beaver. Beaver held on to the raccoon. Raccoons held on to the duck. Uh-oh. Oh, what a ride. Now they're having fun. So many different animals living their separate lives, but they didn't know they were in it together until the river came along. The end. What a fantastic story. Because what this story tells us is even though we don't know where we're going, and sometimes we might be scared, we might be nervous, and we might be facing some big challenges or big problems, we're all in this together. And all of you and your classmates and your friends and your family, everybody has a role to play to help you and we're surrounded by helpers. And each one of us plays a different role in helping each other get through everything and be the best people that we can be. That's what this book is all about. And each and every one of you has a way of helping your classmates, your friends, and your family as well. So kids, I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed this book. It's one of my favorite books. And I hope that you can take this book and share it with your family and share it with your friends and get as much out of it as I did. I'm so proud of you. Keep working so hard at school and, uh, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.